Raphael is displaying its laser weapon technology at the IDEX exhibition and has recently opened a state-of-the-art production unit in the UAE. Israel's defense industry has recently opened a new facility in the UAE and they are exhibiting their high-energy laser weaponry at IDEX 2021 in Abu Dhabi. It will be an amazing opportunity to witness this powerful technology firsthand. Yoav Haravan, the CEO of Raphael Advanced Defense Systems, was present at the inauguration ceremony held earlier this month with both Israeli and Emirati officials in attendance, as mentioned in Raphael's February 16 press release. We are encouraged by yet another concrete step in strengthening Raphael's ties with the UAE. We can now say that we have built the bridge to the United Arab Emirates with this inaugural investment, and we are excited to continue to expand the relationships that have been cultivated thus far," Haravan said. The Abraham Accords have opened up many doors for Israel, providing them with the opportunity to expand their presence in the Gulf region while also improving diplomatic ties with some Arab states. At IDEX, the company will showcase its Iron Beam High Energy Laser Weapon System. The UAE is now set to experience the advanced laser system designed by Israeli engineers that boosts the effectiveness of Iron Dome air defense. This will be the first time UAE gets exposure to this new technology. In 2020, the United Arab Emirates UAE, made a reported attempt to purchase Rafael's spider air defense system. Rafael claimed the system had been upgraded with counter-ballistic missile defense and an extended range of their Derby LR missile. Raphael recently released a video demonstrating the ability of its Typhoon weapon system to counter unmanned aerial vehicles, drones. Ahead of the upcoming IDEX and NADEX conferences in the United Arab Emirates, an Israeli company has unveiled a video demonstrating their Typhoon remotely operated weapons station shooting down tiny drones. The footage serves as a testament to their precision and effectiveness. On February 17, Raphael Advanced Defense Systems showed a video illustrating their counter-drone technology which was tested in the previous month. The Typhoon MK-30C and its 25mm variant have been used by many navies all around the world, including the US Navy. Additionally, these weapons have been upgraded with counter-drone technology to further enhance their range of applications. According to Rantavor, leader of Raphael's naval warfare systems business, the firm has 32 customers globally and has installed around 750 Typhoon systems. The Typhoon family of weapons have been improved, with special focus on the 30mm variant due to its capabilities and potential to make use of varying types of munitions such as airburst ammunition. This was according to Tavor. This system provides advanced fire correction which can reduce the number of shots needed to bring down an unmanned aerial vehicle. It fires 10 round bursts, and one or two such bursts are more than enough according to the manufacturer. The company has recognized the threat of drone swarms and stressed the importance of addressing it promptly. They have also improved their magazine from 200 to 400 rounds in order to reduce loading frequency. The capability has been successfully launched and is available as an upgrade to existing systems. The range of the capability extends up to 3 kilometers, approximately 1.9 miles. Raphael has been putting effort into the development and release of their sixth-generation Spike Mlos missile system which was announced in 2020. It is now available for customers to install on ships. With a standoff range of 32 kilometers, Tavor said the 6th gen version can simultaneously attack a single or different targets with 4 missiles and we can do a handover from a vessel to another operator, to take control of the target, and it also has the automatic target recognition within the seeker, a library of targets pre-inserted, and it looks automatically to find the right target. He added that the capability is suited well to littoral combat areas, or near islands, but can also work during sea to sea operations. Following the Abraham Accords, Israel is making strides in connecting with the Gulf region. Raphael is especially optimistic, believing that opportunities to improve business are abound. Tavor expressed enthusiasm for increasing their presence in this area. He also sees Navedex as an opportunity to highlight these types of weapons because of the drone threat in the neighborhood, a reference to the Gulf and nearby areas. Among other attacks, Saudi Arabia's Abquaik and Kuraiz oil facilities in September 2019 were hit with drone swarms and low-altitude cruise missiles. 
Raphael, a company producing spike and low systems, declared that several armed forces around the world are using this system and it is compatible with a variety of warheads. The spike systems family has gained favor with 39 countries, 19 of which are part of NATO. Please check my other videos and links above. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider a like and subscribe.